Well, hello and welcome to this week's episode of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. I'm your host, Chris Green, Director of Network Expansion for Avoya Travel. And thank you so much for your time for tuning into our program today and your support on an ongoing basis. We hope you hear something today that sparks your interest and causes you to want to explore a little bit more about what Avoya Travel is all about. I'll give you a little hint. We're all about the best in class resources needed by the modern travel advisor to sell more travel, to engage with their clients more effectively, and generate more commissions for their business. And if that sounds good to you, then you found the right program. And we certainly hope a little bit later you spend a little time at avoidnetwork.com, start that process, get engaged uh, for a conversation with one of the people on my team, and maybe become the next member of the Avoid Network. We've got a great show lined up for you today. As I always love the weeks that we feature our amazing members of the Avoya Network. And today we're going to be welcoming in Jenny Shrimpshire, owner of Voyages by Jenny LLC, for an exclusive chat. Jenny's going to share how the Avoya resources helped her stay in business while traveling overseas with some big groups. We're going to find out more about her specialties, why she focuses in those areas, maybe get a little bit of advice for the you know, prospective travel advisor. And we look forward to welcoming Jenny to On Deck with Avoya here in just a couple of moments. We also have our eye on the industry feature this week. Some of the stories we're following include news that travel financing specialist Uplift has been acquired by a new company. We have a great relationship with Uplift at Avoya Travel, so I'm following that story very close. News broke this week that Amsterdam voted to move their cruise terminal out of the city. We'll have those details. And finally, as if the guy didn't have enough to do with hosting American Idol, and soon to replace Pat Sajak on Wheel of Fortune, word comes that Ryan Seacrest is partnering up, partnering up with travel wholesaler Classic Vacations. We'll have a few more details on that partnership as well, all coming your way here with our Eye on the Industry feature in just a moment. After our interview with Jenny, we're going to wrap up our show with details on our current promotions, touch base on travel agent education, elite resources offered to the Avoya Network, and all of our social media contacts, plus the ways for you to reach out and start the process to affiliate with the number one host agency in leisure travel, and that's proudly Avoya Travel. Okay, let's kick it off this week's edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update with some industry insights and our eye on the industry feature. And a story I saw on Travel Weekly and kind of breaking news today, Uplift, the industry's leading travel finance specialist, has been acquired by a new company, financial technology company Upgrade has acquired Uplift. And Uplift Chief Commercial Officer Tommy Bott says it's a good thing. The, uh, the acquisition will accelerate the growth of Uplift's buy now, pay later option for which travelers pay back a loan in installments. As part of Upgrade, more resources will be available to better serve our partners and our customers, Bots is quoted as saying. San Francisco-based Upgrade provides consumer mobile banking and credit services. Uh, the company says it delivered over $24 billion in credit to mainstream consumers through cards and loans since its inception in 2017. Uplift offers its travel financing services and partnerships with over 300 airlines, cruise lines, and hotel chains in the U.S. and Canada. And it's also a great resource available to those in the Avoya network to help their clients get the vacation they've always dreamed about, even if money may be a little tight right now. In a story from the Associated Press, Amsterdam wants to move a cruise line terminal out of the heart of their historic capital city as the latest steps in an ongoing battle against pollution and hordes of tourists clogging what it says are its narrow cobbled streets. The Dutch capital is one of many picturesque European cities from Rome to Venice to Paris, kind of grappling with how to manage visitor numbers that are again soaring, as we all know, in the aftermath of shutdowns during the coronavirus pandemic. The city's aldermen voted on Thursday in favor of a motion calling on the city to move the terminal away from its current location, which is close to their central rail station. But Dick de Graaf, the director of the cruise port Amsterdam that operates the terminal in the city center, told the Associated Press the company had taken note of the vote and it's awaiting the municipality's next move. There's no immediate closing of the terminal. The, uh, the council's call is to relocate the terminal and they're going to wait on follow-up uh, as they do some more investigations on what's going on. Uh, Amsterdam Terminal expects 114 ships to stop there this year and 130 next year. And finally, the busiest guy in show business is getting a bit busier, and this time in the travel industry. Now, this is not a new story, but new to me. I just saw this the other day. I thought it was worth a share. 
Luxury Vacation Wholesaler Classic Vacations is partnering with American Idol host and radio personality and man of everything, Ryan Seacrest, who will work with Classic as a strategic advisor. Seacrest will collaborate with Classic on products, marketing, and customer service, in addition to supporting the company's expansion plans. In a statement, Seacrest said he's always been a big fan of travel because it allows me to see the world through a different lens, learn about origin stories, and create special memories of family and friends. It makes me feel a great sense of joy to create cherished moments with my loved ones. It's also no secret that I love food and immersing myself in the different cuisines of the world. Classic Vacations noted that Seacrest often shared his love of travel, culture, and world cuisine through his social media accounts and his radio show, and that he has investments already in restaurants, winemaking, and olive oil productions should make for an interesting partnership. Well, time to transition to my favorite part of the program. And from the feedback we get every week, your favorite part too, and I understand why. When we get a chance to chat with another amazing person in the travel industry uh, to get their thoughts on the current state of things, what clients are saying, and hopefully a bit of inspiration too. Uh, too. Today, we're excited to welcome one of the great affiliates in the Avoya Network, Jenny Shrimpshire, owner of Voyages by Jenny. Like many of the affiliates in the Avoya Network, Jenny runs a very strong business. And that often means being away from her home office, whether escorting a group overseas or visiting the latest resorts. Jenny needs, and thankfully has, right as a member of the Avoya Network, access to the industry's top technology platform, Agent Power, so she can keep her business running smoothly from anywhere in the world she happens to be, as long as she's plugged into the good old internet. So we're excited to spotlight her great success and her unique story today. So please help me in welcoming in our featured Meet the Network guest this week, Jenny Shrimpshire, owner of Voyages by Jenny LLC, an independent affiliate in the Avoya Network. Jenny, so great to have you on the show this week. Hi, Chris. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, Jenny, before we get started, can you fill our audience in a little bit on your personal background, how you got in the travel industry, became a travel professional, and how you ended up affiliated with the Avoya Network? Well, like so many, I didn't come directly to travel, um, but my love of travel started when I was in high school. Um, I was an exchange student twice, and then I also did one of those motor coach six countries in five days. <laughs> Actually, it was two weeks, though. Um, but it inspired a love of travel. And my first career was actually in corporate real estate manage, management. And I traveled both all across the US and internationally in Europe and in Asia. And towards the end of my real estate career, I was gone one to two weeks out of every month. So I hit some career burnout and that's when, you know, I always thought it would be fun to own a travel agency, but I didn't really know anything about it. And I started interviewing travel agents and interviewed at a couple travel agencies, but I was referred to Avoya over and over and over again. So I started interviewing Avoya and the rest, I guess, is history, as they say. Absolutely. Worked out for all of us, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your focus with Voyages by Jenny LLC and what some of the specialties you focus on and why you gravitate towards uh, selling those specialties there, Jenny? Sure. Um, since I was new to the travel industry when I started my agency, I found my strength really was in my knowledge of destinations, not so much the travel companies themselves. I knew Europe very well. I knew Asia fairly well. Um, and I had sailed on Oceana cruises several times. So it was natural for in the beginning, Oceana was really all I sold. But, um, you know, as I grew and my experience grew and with Avoya, I got the opportunity to sail on other cruise lines, go to different destinations, experience new new travel providers. You know, I have expanded, but I still um, have a niche with Oceana, now with Atlas Ocean Voyages and um, with groups. I, I had always sailed with a group of good friends on Oceana cruises. And that led me to putting together more groups where I escort the clients, but I put together the pre-package and, you know, and 
based around a special interest or more likely just the good itinerary and sell those group to travel um, group trips. In our promotion for your appearance today, we mentioned how you spent a good chunk of time in England last year, maybe it was Scotland with a, with a few big groups. I know you were at the open because we joked about that, how here in America, we call it the British open, but the rest of the world just calls it the open. First off, <laughs> tell me about that experience. And second, can you share with me how the resources you have access to by being in the Avoya network, make that time overseas still productive for you and your agency? Well, 2022 was a big year in my family because basically I moved my family to Europe for two months. You are correct. Uh, one month of that was in Edinburgh in Scotland for the 150th anniversary open at St. Andrews. And I had the good fortune to partner with a golf travel company based in Edinburgh. And they were selling packages to the 150th. And so with them, I my agency sold packages. And then I got there three weeks early to work through the logistics of getting over 250 people in four different hotels to the trains, to the open. We had uh, the packages included um a special evening with Gary Player which that was a highlight even you know I had to keep telling the clients I myself am not a golfer I have golfed before but um no I'm not a golfer my expertise was travel and and Scotland in particular so I was there for the travel piece and golf was a big learning for me um but it was it was fantastic and then I ended up with a large group on Oceana in the Baltic in August. And so it didn't make sense to fly home after the open ended. <laughs> so instead we rented a car, we went down to Liverpool, we scouted the uh, location for the 151st that just finished this weekend. And then my family and I drove a rental car around England. We went back to where I was an exchange student. <laughs> And uh, then we went over to Norway to check off. I'd always had the iconic Norway in a nutshell itinerary as a bucket list. So we did Norway and then we got on our cruise and we finally came home two months later. Um, what was interesting with it, you know, every tool with Avoya is web-based. So as long as I had my laptop and a phone, it was like I was sitting in my office. The the real the only real difference was, you know, the time difference. That was a challenge in calling clients, but I've been able to de develop a fairly loyal client base um, over the years with Avoya. So I could either go right into the system, book them, text, email, whatever I needed to do, or I could put it on hold till I got back for things that were way in advance. Um, but for the most part, it was like I had my office with me everywhere I went. It's almost like you you were reading my mind, Jenny, because my next question was going to talk about Avoya Travels technology and how it's compatible with traveling and going anywhere in the world and allowing you to stay on top of your business. And, and your story just kind of highlights just how much that is possible uh, so when you hear Avoya Travel say we're the number one technology in, in leisure travel, I guess it's fair to say you would agree with that, right? Absolutely. And as I say to clients all the time, you know, I'm a travel agent, I travel. So um, I have to, first of all, build the trust with the clients that I'm going to still be there for them, whether I'm in my office or whether I'm on a trip. Another tool through Avoya, which I, I use the word tool, but they foster connections. So I have two very good partners, other agents that are my mentors, colleagues, uh, friends now. We cover each other as well. So um, like one very good travel agent friend of mine is back in Scotland right now. And I was helping with a couple client things that while she could have done that from her laptop, 
also, you want to take a vacation for a couple of days sometimes too. And I was here back in my office. So it was easy for me to get in touch with her client and get what she needed done so that both of our businesses operate seamlessly. Speaking of clients, Jenny, what are you hearing from clients now on their desire to travel? Uh, any concerns that you're hearing that they have? Or what's your feeling about the current state of things now? Here we are, uh, Q3 of 2023 already. <laughs> well, um, what I'm hearing over and over and over from clients is that being isolated from their loved ones in the pandemic created an intense desire <clears throat> to reconnect, reconnect with loved ones, reconnect with the places that they love in the world. And it, it gave everyone this sense of how precious life is. And you can't keep putting off the trips you want to take because you might not be able to go, but more importantly, you should take those loved ones along with you. I'm seeing so much more extended families traveling together because it's not just where you go, it's who you go with. And, you know, people are, are very conscious nowadays that you may have limited time. <laughs> YOLO, I mean, it's, it's out there. You only live once. I am checking off for clients, bucket list destination after bucket list destination. Almost every new client call I hear, I have always wanted to go to XYZ. And we figure it's time now. Jenny Shrimpshire, owner of Voyages by Jenny LLC, is our featured Meet the Network guest today. Jenny, what piece of advice would you offer and share with maybe somebody that's new to the travel industry, just kind of in those uh, research phase that might help them get ahead just a little bit faster? Well, travel is, you know, this business is built on relationships. And my past career, I was not in sales, but I was in client relations. I knew how to build strong relationships. And the travel industry is built on relationships with your clients with your travel partners, with Avoya, and with your fellow IAs. And working from home can be very isolating. And when you're new, you're sitting in your office all by yourself. And so my piece of advice would be to take the time. You know, it's hard at the beginning, you wanna just take new clients and book, 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 and build your business. But you need to also take time to meet other agents, call people, take advantage of the Avoya networking opportunities and build relationships. Um, go to every educational event you can possibly go to just so you can make those connections so that when you have a question, when you have an issue, when you have an idea, you have someone to go to to bounce it off and your business will grow exponentially faster and stronger as a result of taking time to cultivate important relationships. I mean, perfectly said, Jenny, because you know we highlight that here at Avoya Travel as well, the idea that the agents that come into the Avoya network that end up being the most successful are those that engage with the idea that they're travel professionals, engage with their fellow travel professionals, and engage with the business model that they've chosen, whether that's affiliating with Avoya Travel or whatever network they decide to, to become members of. You know, if you're not engaged with that process, it's really hard to get ahead. And I think you just said that really well. Thank you. What about personal travel? Other than your great experiences you just shared, anything on the horizon that you're really excited about? Well, um, I find the more places I go, my wanderlust for travel is not satiated at all. <laughs> all I do is develop more places that I want to go back to and get more in depth. Um, I, I finally checked off my, my last continent, Antarctica, in March, and it was such an exciting experience. I want that for everyone else now, and I can't stop talking about Antarctica. 
And I am really looking forward to the Avoya Conference, which is on an Alaska cruise this fall. And Alaska is a destination I want to visit again and again and again. And there's a lot of similarities between the scenery you see in Alaska and Antarctica in some ways, the majesty of it. I mean, other than the obvious joy that you get out of traveling, what do you get out of it? I mean, what is it that you personally find so amazing about having the opportunity to travel to, to new places? I have been questioned by, especially when I started my agency, uh, by friends and family about that. And, you know, I truly believe <laughs> that one of the ways that we build world peace is by getting to know people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different experiences. And every time you set foot out in the world and be a good amb ambassador about, you know, from where you come from and learn from other people, you realize that people across the globe have far more in common than we have different. And so it, it may be somewhat altruistic, but I, I really believe in that. It's why I've been traveling, why I lived with two families in high school. It's, um, it's the foundation of my business. Oh, <laughs> and the food. I also travel for the food. <laughs> Jenny, Avoid Travel is proud to say that we offer a shared success business model. Would you agree with that? And how do you see that benefiting you and your agency that you own? Oh, wow. That's a, that's a good question because, I mean, I built my dream business through Avoya. So I think it's safe to say I'm all in. I met my mentors, my business partners all through Avoya. And so, I mean, this amazing network has supported my success in every aspect of my business. So uh, I absolutely agree. And I, I, I mean, I can't imagine building my business anywhere else. Um, from day one, I have felt that Avoya was invested in myself, in my success gave me the tools I needed, gave me more resources than I could ever tap into. I mean, that I still tap into. I'm constantly training. I'm constantly reaching out to ask questions. Um, there's no question that Avoya has been key to my successful agency. Last question for you, and it's one that I ask all my guests, Jenny. From your vantage point, and I guess that smile and enthusiasm coming through your voice says it all, but are you excited about the future of leisure travel? <laughs> to say the least, yes, 100%. Jenny Shrimpture, everyone, owner of Voyages by Jenny LLC, an independent affiliate in the Avoya Network. Jenny, thank you so much for that great discussion and for your time to share your story today with our guests. I think that's really gonna resonate well. Thank you, Chris. Good luck to everyone. I wish you a very successful travel agency business and a fun life of travel. Sounds like a good win-win to me for sure. Next week on Deck with Avoya is excited to welcome back Daniel DeBrant, Director of Brand Sales for Avoya Travel for an Avoya Insider segment. Brand Sales, just another unique resource offered by Avoya Travel that helps our network be the number one network in leisure travel. And we're excited to welcome Danny back to the show next Thursday, our normal time, 2.15 Eastern uh, on the East Coast. Of course, that translates to 11.15 uh, back on the Pacific. And if you're in Central or Mountain, you're probably good at doing that conversion by now anyway. I wanna talk for a second about our ongoing military promotion as we continue to salute our veterans, those that have served, those that are active duty, uh, they make great travel advisors. Uh, you know, we had Tony on several weeks ago who was, uh, you know, uh, from our military community. They're curious, they're well-traveled, they're disciplined, and we're proud to have our affiliation where we offer $100 off our affiliation fee. If you reach out to avoidnetwork.com, somebody on my team is more than happy to go over all the details and help you make sure that you get the discount that you certainly deserve. Travel agent education powered by Avoya. Hot, hot, 
hot, as the song would say, because the people that are going through this education are coming into the Avoyan Network and they're just blazing a path like you wouldn't believe. They're selling at a much higher rate than those who have not done education. They are closing faster. They are closing at higher levels. They understand about how to start at the top and work your way down and things like that. So it just makes not only sense, like, but it also makes dollars and cents for you to invest in your own travel agent education. Again, at avoidnetwork.com, you can find out all the details. And then after you've completed the travel agent education powered by Avoya, boom, you can affiliate with Avoya Travel. You can get access to all of the elite resources that Jenny and I have been discussing today, uh, our access to our agent power. So maybe you too can spend a couple months in Europe uh, escorting a big group to the open or anywhere that you choose to, uh, to head off to. So make sure you reach out. We're talking about live leads, the best support you can imagine, a marketing resource center that is filled with deployable assets that you can either co-brand or you can work with our creative services team to have branded to your own agency. Why wouldn't you want to work with the best resources in the travel industry? Certainly hope that's true. Uh, hey, don't forget, give us a, a follow on our social media channels if you can, at Avoid uh, Travel Network. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're on YouTube. We certainly house all of our previous episodes of On Deck with Avoya uh, right there on YouTube. So you can always go back and, and, and reference those later if you'd like, or maybe you missed a couple of episodes and you, you want to catch up. Uh, I, we're just really happy to, to share with you in so many different ways. And of course, when you're ready, please reach out, whether you pick up the phone, whether you send me an email to chris.green at Avoya, uh, avoyatravel.com, whether you go to avoyanetwork.com and fill out the form and then get connected with one of the amazing affiliation specialists on my team, we would love to tell our story. We would love to hear your story. We would love to hear your questions and see if it's a good fit. As Jenny and I were talking about, we really are proud of our shared success business model, and we think it might be a good fit for you too. So please reach out. Certainly want to say a big thanks to Jenny Shrimpshire, uh, owner of uh, Voyages by Jenny LLC for that fantastic conversation. Big thanks to Annabella for doing a wonderful job in producing our show today. Thank you for being part of On Deck with Avoya on a weekly basis. We hope to see you back here next Thursday at our normal time. Until then, take care, everyone.